Hi, this is Lauren from Daisy Cottage Designs and I'm here with a quick tutorial for you today on the blanket that you see on your screen. This is the newest Daisy Cottage Designs pattern as of today and it is available on daisycottagedesigns.net as well as in my Etsy shop. The first thing you are going to want to do is grab some worsted weight yarn and a J crochet hook. I'm using Hobby Lobby I Love This Yarn in Sea Blue and I am using this tulip crochet hook. They're some of my very favorites. For this pattern, any um, odd number chain will work. I have a chain of 11 for this swatch. So go ahead and chain 11 and work along with me, or you can chain however many you want. Um, I think this would make a great dishcloth. So if you have cotton yarn, you might want to go ahead and chain something like 31 or something, and that would probably give you a good length for a dishcloth. Um, the first thing that you are going to want to do is double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So this is your first chain, your second chain, and your third chain. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook. Now I insert my hook into the back nub because that gives our project a much more finished look on the bottom. Okay, so let me, let me do that one more time. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the third chain, pull up a loop. There are three loops on your hook. You're going to pull through the first two loops and then the second two loops. In the next stitch, we're going to work a half double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are three loops on your hook. You're going to pull your yarn through all three loops. In the next stitch, we're going to work a double crochet cluster. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch and pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop. There are four loops on your hook. You're going to pull through the first two loops and then you're going to pull through the rest of the loops. And now what we're going to do to finish the row is we're going to alternate half double crochet and double crochet cluster. <coughs> Excuse me. So we are going to half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to work a double crochet cluster into this one. So let's do that together. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull your yarn through the first two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, pull through the first two loops on your hook, and now pull through all three loops. Then we are going to half double crochet into this next chain. And we're going to work a cluster stitch into the next one. We're going to half double crochet into this next to the last stitch. And then we will work a double crochet cluster into the last stitch. And then we will chain two and turn our work. And now everything is going to look a little bit bumpy at first, as you can see, almost like you've made bobbles, but don't worry, that is all going to smooth out. And if it doesn't, what it's going to mean is you're probably going to want to go up a hook size or two. All right, so we're going to double crochet in the first stitch. Don't skip anything, just double crochet into that first stitch. And then we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we are going to work a double crochet cluster stitch in the next one. I'm not sure if you can hear my kids. They are playing outside and I can hear scooters and laughing every once in a while. We're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we are going to work a double crochet cluster into the next one. And we're just going to keep alternating every other stitch until we get to the end of the row. And we're working half double crochets in the tops of half double crochets. And we're working cluster stitches in the tops of cluster stitches. All right, so we are going to half double crochet in this next stitch. And work a cluster stitch in the next one. 
We're going to half double crochet in the next stitch and then cluster stitch in the last stitch. And now this pattern is nice because you don't have to worry about working into the tops of any turning chains. So chain two, turn your work. We're going to double crochet into that very first stitch. We'll work through at least one more row. We're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. And then let me show you one more time how to make the double crochet cluster stitch now that we've got a little more to work with here. Sometimes it's a little easier to see. <coughs> Excuse me. So we are going to yarn over and insert our hook into the stitch. Pull up a loop. So there are three loops on your hook. You're going to pull through the first two loops. You're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook. And now pull through all three loops on your hook. And so, the, so then we'll half double crochet into the next stitch. And we'll work a cluster stitch into the next one. Half double crochet into this one. And double crochet cluster stitch into this one. And then we will half double crochet into the next stitch. And in the last stitch, we'll end with a double crochet cluster stitch. And then go ahead, let's chain two and we'll do one last row. So remember, we're gonna start with a double crochet in the first stitch. We're gonna work a half double crochet into the stitch after that. We're gonna work a double crochet cluster stitch. And then a half double crochet. And then a double crochet cluster stitch. And then a half double crochet. And a double crochet cluster stitch. Oops. And oh, my feet are on my yarn somehow. And then a half double crochet. And then in the last stitch of the row, we'll work a cluster stitch. So this really is a simple stitch to make. Um, it works up quickly, the rows are tall, but the um, alternating of double crochet clusters with a half double crochet that's a little shorter gives it a really nice texture. If you have any questions on this pattern, go ahead and send me an email. My email address is lauren at daisycottagedesigns.net or you can um, leave a comment on this video. I probably am less likely to get back to you as quickly if you leave a comment, but I'll do my best to check those. So I hope you have a great day, enjoy the pattern, and happy crocheting.